Okay, so I thought for the first post on this new channel I'm making on YouTube to talk about SARS coronavirus 2 and the COVID-19 pandemic, I'd go for a little background stuff, talk about coronaviruses a little bit more generally to give some context to what we know about coronaviruses, some of the history, and give you a little sense of the style of these videos so you can work out if they're something you want to come back for in future when I start to go more specifically about the current outbreak we're dealing with. So coronaviruses are a family of viruses. There's a lot of members in there that infect both animals and humans. The current virus, SARS-CoV-2, is the seventh human coronavirus. Now four of those seven don't cause severe disease. They spread around the world, uh, causing cases in winter months, so they show seasonality, a topic I'll talk about in future posts, I'm sure. And they cause common colds. You get a locked up nose, runny nose, get a bit of a sore throat, and then you recover. They don't cause severe disease. And they have very unmemorable names. So they're human coronavirus OC43, 229E, HKU1, and NL63, if anyone wanted to know that. Not too much study goes into those viruses because of the fact they don't cause particularly severe disease. They are just endemic viruses that we deal with every winter. However, the 21st century has seen the emergence of three novel human coronaviruses that have all transmitted into humans from an animal source. Again, a topic I'll talk about in much more detail in later posts. 2002-2003 saw the emergence of SARS coronavirus, so the original SARS. So SARS is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, and the virus was identified in China because of patients suffering from a severe acute respiratory syndrome, hence the naming. In a matter of months, so from November 2002 to July 2003, SARS rapidly spread around the world. It caused about 8,000 cases and killed about 800 of those people. So about 10% of the people who became infected with SARS-1, I'll say for clarity, died from that virus. But then in July 2003, cases stopped appearing and the virus was never seen again outside of lab settings for research. Then 2012 came around and we saw the emergence of Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus or MERS Coronavirus. So this virus emerged in Saudi Arabia and to this date still causes sporadic cases. The virus doesn't transmit very well between humans, however, so the case count is much lower and we only ever get these sporadic appearances of MERS disease. However, of the approximately 2,500 uh, people that have been infected with MERS, about 35% of those have died. So it's one of the most lethal pathogens we know of. Then, 2019, 2020 came around, and here we are with a SARS coronavirus 2. Again, it's something I'll talk about more in later posts. Uh, the naming is given because of a, the disease similarity, not because this is a direct ancestor of SARS. It's got similarity to SARS, but it is not the same virus. So, as I'm sure everyone is aware uh, by now, it should be, the this SARS coronavirus 2 has had an incredibly explosive outbreak around the world and we are now at the stage of a pandemic. So since the first cases started appearing in China at the end of 2019 and then into early 2020, we're now up to about 180,000 cases with about 7,000 deaths. I have the screen up on my computer there, hence my little looks to the side. So this virus is causing a lot of, uh, a lot of disease, a lot of death, and a lot of fear and panic buying of toilet paper, which please, everyone stop doing it. You don't need to go stock up toilet paper. I'm sure that will get said in most of my videos. And that's why I'm here and talking about this virus because I want to spread some good information and try to provide you answers to questions you may have talking about various different topics. So this is the first little post. Just wanted to give a little background about coronaviruses. Uh, the fact that there are multiple coronaviruses, not just the coronavirus that's spreading right now. And I want to keep these videos fairly short. So with that, I'm going to close out the first one and hopefully get another couple of videos done this week to start talking more specifically about SARS coronavirus 2 and the COVID-19 pandemic. 
If you're enjoying this style of video, please just remember to subscribe because that way you'll get notifications when I post new things. I don't quite know what the schedule is going to be because my work is obviously crazy, but I'll do my best to get things out. And as I said in my little introduction video, if you watch that, please feel free to ask questions. I'll try and tackle as much as I can and talk about specific things people are worried about. So thanks for watching.